This is a film, but not an ordinary film. This isn't a film about superheroes or soldiers or wars fought with pirates in space. No, that would be far too exciting and expensive. This is a simple story, but hopefully one that you will still find meaning in. This is the story about a watermelon. What is this? A voice said in the darkness. Where am I? What am I? The voice pondered for a second, until it all became clear to him. Am I? Am I a watermelon? How is this possible? I could have been anything in the world but a watermelon. The watermelon seemed very confused. It's not every day you wake into existence as a fruit. No, thought the watermelon. This can't be real. This can't be me. I must be having a strange dream or I've taken too many drugs and I'm having a hallucinogenic experience. <laughs> no, this can't be true. But it was true. Unfortunately for the watermelon, he was born into this world as a watermelon. No matter how much he can deny it, he is in fact a watermelon. How can this be? The watermelon thought. I am perceiving everything around me. I am thinking. I have a mind with thoughts. I am alive, but I am not a human being. I'm not even an animal. I am a fruit. I am food. Even though he was starting to comprehend what he was, the watermelon could not accept that he was just a simple watermelon. This is not fair. I've had just as much of a right to be a human being as any other consciousness in the universe, the watermelon thought. Why can't I be human? And then the watermelon had an idea, an idea it did not consider until now. Why can't I be human? I have thoughts. I have feelings. I have dreams. I have wills to live. All of those that are seen as human traits. The only thing stopping me from being seen as a human being is the fact that I am a watermelon. Well, that is not going to stop me from achieving my goal of being seen as a human being. What is that? Who are you? Said the watermelon. What are you doing? The watermelon was met with silence. The knife cuts into him deep and the pain is unbearable. The watermelon screams in pain, but the man continues to cut. Please stop, cried the watermelon. I am like you, I am alive. The man does not reply. The watermelon feels broken. A piece of him has been removed and is being consumed by the man sitting before him. I must stop this, the watermelon thought. I will not die on this kitchen table as this man's food. The watermelon begins to scream. Hello! Do not be afraid! I am a talking watermelon! I do not wish to harm you! I only want to be your friend! The man does not say anything. In fact, he hadn't even noticed the watermelon trying to communicate with him. The sounds the watermelon is making are all in his mind, and he has no mouth to speak them with, for he is a watermelon. I must try a different approach, the watermelon thought. But the watermelon could not think of any other way. He tries to move, but he cannot. He tries to grab the man, but he does not have hands. He tries to write a message in his now open body, but he is unable. No matter what he does, he cannot communicate to the man that he is alive, because he is only a watermelon. Is this the end? Thought the watermelon. Is this how I die? Brought into the world only to be immediately eaten by a real person? The watermelon began to cry, and he cried more when he realized he couldn't shed tears. I only wanted to be a person. Is that too much to ask for? The choice of being something over eight billion people already are? Why have I been forsaken? The watermelon pauses for a moment. This isn't what I wanted. But it is what I have received. If 
my sole purpose in this life is to be this man's food, then so be it. The pain had started to recede, and the watermelon began to sense a feeling he had not felt since he was born into this world. He watched as everything slowly began to fade. This is it, isn't it? Thought the watermelon. This is what it feels like to die. I feel... good. Even though he was about to die, he felt happy, like he had accomplished his goal all along. He may not have been born a human being, and he may not have been seen as a human being, but he is about to die knowing that his body will be passed on. His essence will be transferred through the man, and his body will become part of the human being he wanted to be. The watermelon dies, knowing that he had served a role in a grander scheme of all things. After all, he is only a watermelon.